Hey guys, this is the second video in the series of videos about UWC applications. This one is dedicated to the question of how to write your essay responses. As you can see, the essays are in the section called Core Application Information, uh, and there's quite a few of them. The good news is that the answers don't have to be very long. For this one, for example, the first one is 45 to 55 words long, and I pasted in a very short, obviously unrelated uh, little essay that illustrates how long that resp response is going to be if you aim for that 45 to 55 word range. There, there are two pages in the core application information section with essay questions. This is page one, there are six questions on this page, and if you go to the next page, there's a, a few more. The longest essay question is number 12, is a question about your ability to reason through topics that are perhaps not related to who you are as an individual, although if you bring in a story from your personal life into answering these questions, I think that would be totally fine. So let's jump in to some tips. Tip number one, take your time to write your responses. You don't have to fill out those forms right away. You can fill out every other part of the application, submit your transcripts, submit your reference letters, wait until you are sure that you have the best version of the essay that you could possibly have. Tip number two, uh, it, to facilitate this, copy all the questions into a separate document. Let me show you an example of what that might look like. Uh, I created a Google Doc and I just pasted all the questions into this document. Over time, I can write some responses. This is saved and I just kind of can continue uh, with this document without having to open the application form. Uh, you might use a notes app so that it's always with you on your phone. You might use whatever text editing software you prefer for this. What's also nice about this is that you see all the questions in the same place. And so now you can start seeing how these questions perhaps are connected. Tip number three, use your phone. Uh, one trick I would suggest is for each uh, maybe for each question, or maybe there are, there are ways you can group these questions, you could create a, a group chat in Telegram and then you can send yourself uh, memos, you could send, send yourself voice notes, little uh, inspirational quotes, or just thoughts that come to mind as you go about your life. And maybe you're not in front of your computer, but your phone is with you, so you can capture those things and keep them organized by topic. So that's tip number three use your phone. Tip number four, understand UWC philosophy and their values. Go to their website and go to how to apply selection criteria and read about what they're looking for. There's five bullet points here. I'm not going to regurgitate them. Go to the website and read about them. But you have to understand what, what the program is looking for in their candidates. And as you think through this, you have to think about in what way can you present yourself to kind of align with the things that UWC is looking for. Tip number five, understand yourself. So who are you? What motivates you? What do you like? One of the questions is what are your strengths? It's uh, what are you good at and what would you like to improve about yourself? But even beyond that, you, you got to think about what is it that motivates you? Is it money? Is it fame? Is it something else? Uh, family? Think about how you want to present yourself to the, to the selection committee in a way that is both authentic, it's true to who you are, but it also is special. It's, uh, it, it presents you in a way that is different from how other people might present themselves. You know, for example, I'm sure that a lot of people will write about the importance of family in their lives, but can you write about that topic in a way that is uh, unique? Maybe it's uh, a story from your childhood. Maybe it's a story from about your unique family circumstances. Figure out what those special nuggets are. Understand yourself. Talk to your family. Talk to your friends, people who know you really well so that you can come up with, with content. Tip number six, don't make things up. To be authentic, you cannot just make things up. 
it's it's even going to be worse if you just go online and do a Google search and copy in some uh, some, some responses that somebody else has come up with. That will definitely not fly. You'll probably get uh, nowhere with that strategy. So don't make things up. Don't copy. Say the truth. Tip number seven, make sure your answers are logically connected. Again, if you go back to that document and you read through the questions, you'll see that there's kind of a natural progression of uh, what are your motivations? What makes you special? Um, who you are as an individual? Are you a good person? Like what are your values are? So as you're writing your responses, make sure that uh, you see how a response to one question kind of flows naturally from a response to a previous one. Tip number eight, don't proofread until the very last draft. Don't put your essays in front of your English teachers or your friends who speak English so they can correct your grammar mistakes. Don't worry about grammar until the very last draft because the more important thing is the content that you put in there rather than did you use the correct uh, tense or did you use the correct syntaxis or punctuation. Tip number eight, don't try too hard to appear and sound smart. For example, you can. it's okay to use simple words like I use the word in my response here, tasty, right? I could have used a bunch of different smarter sounding words than tasty, but there's no need for it here. Now, there are circumstances under which you have to use a word that that is a bit more advanced, but only use it if you absolutely have to, rather than using it because you want to appear like you know a lot of words. And the last tip, there is no right answer, okay? So just relax as you're answering these questions. Don't try to predict what the National Committee is looking for in the answer. Um, just try to be yourself, answer truthfully, spend enough time thinking about the question so that you answer it at a level of depth that you are happy with. But don't try to uh, find an answer that isn't true to who you are. Okay, so those are the 10 tips. Use a separate document. Use your phone if you got one and you like to send yourself voice notes. Uh, research UWC so you understand who they're looking for. Understand yourself so that you can Paint the picture to UWC of who you are. Connect your answers. Make sure that one answer flows logically from the previous one. Don't rush. Take your time. Don't lie or steal. <laughs> Don't proofread too early. Don't use big words. And don't think that there is the right answer. So those are all the tips I got. Thanks for watching.